uh, we are in section six or lecture six of the mass transfer in continuation to the Hicks law equation. After the we have discussed about the Malkart equation, the Hicks law equation. This is the continuation of that. As you see in this, we are looking at a section called molecular diffusion in gases. There are four different sections under this. Number one, this is the number one, equimolar counter diffusion in gases. Second, the second case, the general case for diffusion of gases A and B plus convection. The third case, special case for A diffusing through stagnant or non-diffusing B. And the fourth case where the diffusion through a varying cross-sectional area takes place. That means area is not constant, it is changing. So if I say equimolar counter diffusion, the equation or rather we need a relation between Na and Nb that is given as Na is equal to minus Nb. And when I write general in the second case, general case that means we consider Na, we consider Nb put together, we write an equation for Na in terms of Na and Nb as well as molecular diffusion. That means molecular transport plus convective transport put together, we will write an equation. So this equation is shown here. Anna? Na is equal to J star, that means molecular diffusion plus the convective. So here it is, as we know from the fixed law equation, J star is equal to minus C D A B D X I by D Z plus C A by C. So this is the equation we write. Similarly, this is for Na, we can write for Nb also. Nb means molecular or molar flux of component P. So there are two equations now. This is equation one, or rather, you know, this, this one equation one and this one equation two. Okay. There are two equations. That means I need to solve these two equations. If I have to do some exercise, I have to solve these two equations. That means if I want to solve these two equations, I require a relation. The third one, what he says, what it says is that special case for A diffusing through stagnant non diffuse. That means here NB is zero. There are quite many examples where we can actually quote this. But as it is, if you see this equation, you know, this equation NA. In the NA equation, what we have written, we consider that means we, we consider that NB is zero and then we further deduce the equation accordingly. So if I make NB zero here, you know, you can see the equation how it has changed. So NA is equal to minus CDAB DXA by DZ plus C A by C N A. Okay. In this case, I can take this N A to the N A terms to the one side and the other terms in the other side, and then further I can make a derivation. Okay. Right. Let us let me not make so much of complex in this video. We will see in the next one. Then the last one is what varying cross-sectional. Right. If suppose say there is a sphere, suppose this sphere is you know naphthalene. I think you can imagine what is naphthalene, right? It gives a very good smell. We keep it in clothes. It diffuses in the air. That means bulk of the air, right? But here the area is not constant. It keeps on changing. Okay? This area is not constant. That area, then we write Na is equal to Na bar by A. This A is 4 pi R square. Because as it is diffusing, the radius keeps on coming down. So there is a variable or varying cross-sectional area. In that scenario, in what way we write the equation? See, suppose say this is the equation we get, and uh, see again the right hand side, and uh, and the, uh, NA, we write NA bar by 
a so we keep these two equations here in this and then we ultimately get this equation so what is the equation let me write the equation once n a into 1 minus p a by p i am writing this equation right minus b a b by r t d p a by d z right so what do i do now in term now it is not no more z it actually it is r right so this is a is equal to or rather you know let me write again one more time here only into 1 minus p a by p is equal to minus b a b by r t d p a by d r now n a bar by a is equal to minus p a b by r t d p a by 1 minus p a by p in divided by d r so this a you know in a this a now this a is replaced by 4 pi r square area of the sphere that means surface area of the sphere i think you are able to get what i am trying to reach out okay so let's uh, take up in the next lecture little deeper in each one and then see how it is explained but you know in the gate perspective the equation should be handy to you you should be in a position to recollect the equation immediately put the whatever the parameters given to you a substitute you should you could you should be in a position to get the result okay we'll see in the next session